Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Today we're going to be talking about Love and Marriage Huntsville ratings for the latest episode. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. And everyone, please like, share and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, shout out to Money Making Melody fan page um, for this tea. So... The latest episode ratings have come through and it is the lowest this season. It is 238,000 views. That is crazy from a show that has gone from 1 million plus to barely 200,000. That is crazy. It's like how the mighty have fallen. So like if you guys were watching my previous videos, you would know that the highest it got this season was 323,000 views um, and that was for season two. Remember when we were talking about the fact that a lot of like popular bloggers were jumping all over Mary Chansville and we said that we're going to see like an immediate, likely to see an immediate increase in the viewership um, but it's likely to then plateau after that. Well, I guess we were right because after that season, th um, episode three, we got 268,000 views. Um, and then for episode four, um, that even reduced more to 257,000 views. And then in the next episode, episode five, it then got up to 258,000 views, um, which increased by 1,000 if you compare it to the previous episode and then it then reduces um to 238,000 views so if you think about it it feels like the episode two was a glitch um by having 323,000 viewers if you then compare that every episode since then has been within that 200 mark Technically, it feels like it's been on a steady decline since the 323,000 views because going from 323,000, if, for instance, they brought their A game, they would have been able to hopefully sustain a at least part of that viewership that showed up for the 323,000. But what it comes across as is they could not sustain it and then it moved lower to into the 200s and kept moving lower and then there was a glitch of a 1000 spike which came back up and then went back to being low so on average for this season it's within the 200s that is appalling and if i just quickly read what money making melody fan page says um it says from 1 million plus viewership to almost only 200k this is what giving abuse a platform looks like. This is what sacrificing your franchise player for your most liable player looks like. This is what making a mockery out of the majority of your viewers looks like. With much success comes much responsibility. That means you have to hold someone accountable if they are derailing something that could be amazing. There is no coming back from this. And that's why popular belief one bad apple can spoil the whole dang brunch. Wow, that is crazy. And I'll be honest, I completely agree with what she has to, has to say. I feel like you can obviously see that in the new season, you're not really showing Melody as much. Instead, it feels like Martel is getting a lot of airtime, which is crazy because it's like, how is the person that is constantly being disgusting and has been for a long time abusive and has been for a long time and continues to be so is the one who is getting away with it and being rewarded by extra time it's like you've done something crazy so now you get more time it's like what how does that even work that does not make any sense and of course at some point, the viewers are going to be tired. I used to enjoy watching the show. Now, I I can't even stomach watching the show. Most times, I watch the show with a face like, seriously, what am I even watching? So, I feel like that has to be what a lot of the viewership are feeling. Because, yes, I know there is a blackout, which accounts for a lot of reduction in the people watching the show as a whole. But I think also beyond that... 
the fact that we're also still getting a decline in the people that have actually chosen to watch episode two, for instance, am I getting that decline? That shows that the show is not bringing it. Whatever the show was planning for this season is not working. And I hope that Carlos King and production and whoever is involved can take some learnings from this to do something differently in season, in the new season. But I just don't believe that that is going to happen. And it's quite shocking and disappointing. At this point, we have to question whether Carlos King wants the success of his show. Do you want the success of your show more than you care for certain cast members? If it is a yes, then you would be willing to do whatever it takes to take the show further. To be honest, the new addition of Trish and her mandem and potentially her husband that she's not divorced from, I don't necessarily think that they are bringing their A-game either. I don't think they have a lot of oomph, like a lot of personality to bring to the show. Like what they could have used is someone like a Portia Williams, who, of course, they can't afford Portia. I'm not saying exactly Portia, but that energy, that vibrant, hello. You know, when you walk in somewhere, when Portia walks in, for instance, and you just hear that energy, that vibe, that excitement, you need someone that can bring that level of excitement, that level of fun to the show. Because at the moment, it is obvious that there isn't really a relationship between or at least a close-knit or even like nice enough relationship between the cast members so it's becoming and feeling very much combative it's feeling very much passive aggressive the truth of the matter is no one really likes to watch passive aggressive ish all the time we want to make sure that there is a balance so balance being oh sometimes okay there's a little passive aggressive action going on sometimes there's a little bit of like bubbly energy going on i just feel like why isn't anyone coming through with that bubbly energy i feel like melody does come through with that but aside melody i don't think any of them come through with that energy and i feel like that's the energy that is needed for the show so carlos production if anyone is listening if you're going to be bringing anyone onto the show even you can even start with the person being a friend of let them be someone who has bubbly exciting funny humorous energy because at the moment it ain't working whatever it is you guys have done for this season it's not working and i don't think it's going to work i think we're going to continue to see a steady decline in the in the viewership but what we are going to see is an increase in people who watch the reunion people like to watch reunions because reunions tend to be better than the whole show so most people will watch the reunion at least if it's two parts most people will watch the first one um and if it's not bringing it they're not going to really watch the second one but we're going to see an increase in the reunion that's my prediction but so far, I feel like it's going to be a steady 200 and something this season, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it. So you know every single time that I post and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.